pay and we are integers a squared plus 6ab plus b squared equal to 124 and we want to find a and b okay when we see uh, an equation but for example the power of a is 2 we can say it is a quadratic formula in terms of a so one general way is to use this it's useful in many problems but after that it depends on the problem you should use different ideas so let's start if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now here i can say i want to write it as a quadratic function equation in terms of a it is a squared times a times 6b plus b squared you take 1 to 4 to left hand side minus 1 to 4 equal so a will be equal to let's use this formula so a equal to negative 6b plus minus square root of 6b squared minus 4 1 b squared minus 1 to 4 b squared all over 2 now i want to simplify it will be negative 6b plus minus if we calculate i have 36b squared here I have negative 4b squared. 36 minus 4 is 32b squared. Negative 4 times negative 1 to 4. It will be plus 4 times 4, 16. We have 1. 4 times 2, 8 plus 1, 9. 4 times 1, 4. It will be 4, 9, 6. And over 2. Because a and b are integers, so this should be a perfect square. So 32b plus 496 should be a perfect square. Also one Harvard problem. Uh, could, you could solve that for 2022 team selection with this idea. It should be a perfect square like c squared. If you factor 496 is multiple of 4, let's factor 496 here. You can say it is 4 times 1. Here I've written 1 to 4. It's 1 to 4. And I factor from 4 in 1 to 3, it will be 31. So 4 times 4 times 31. It will be 16 times 31. So I can write 32b squared plus 16 times 31 equal to c squared. So we know 16 divides c squared. So if we divide both sides by 16, it will be 2b squared plus 31 equal to c squared over 16 which is c over 4 squared which is integer because 16 should divide c squared now i can call this one d so i can say 2b squared plus 31 equal to d squared so let's work on this 2b squared plus 31 equal to d squared Okay, for solving these types of things, let me write here d was what d is c over 4. Let me show you for these types of problems, you should do what? You write 31 equal to d squared minus 2b squared. So, we call this Paul's equation. You should learn this, you should see on net, you will see this. But they explain something similar to this for you. We also see them. Uh, you should find and solve this first for d squared minus 2b squared for 1 and try to find minimum answer which d and b are positive integers. You should find d and b such that d plus root 2 be minimum. So it is what? Try to find if d is 1, b 0, no, b cannot be 0. 2, 4 minus this, no, d 3, yes. 3 squared minus 2 times 2 squared, it will be 9 minus 8 equal to 1. So, b equal to 3 and b equal to 2. So, it works here. I say my answer will be b3 plus b2 root 2 times 
this to the power of n, and now we should find fundamental answers. Let me tell you how you should. b squared minus 2b squared equal to 31. Now you should solve this. So that's fine. Mm, we start, and again, the n b are positive integers. Again, I should, I want to try from small answers, d5 doesn't work, 6 will be even, 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 not odd, doesn't work, 7, 49, 49 minus 31 is 9, 9, 80, ah, it works. 7 squared minus 2 times 3 squared, which will be 49 minus 2 times 9, 18, which will be 31. So, we call this fundamental answer 7 and 3. So, I write 7 plus 3 root 2. One answer. Look, okay. now in next step, we try to see, can I find a smaller answer? So, look here, it is what? It is b, because of this, d plus b root 2. So, if n is 0, you will see, okay, b plus b root 2 is 7 plus 3 root 2. One answer for db is 7 and 3. If, for example, n is 1, you say oh, b plus b root 2 equal. And you can easily say here, c 7 squared minus 2 times 3 squared works. b plus b root 2 is 3 plus 2 root 2 when n is 1 times 7 plus 3 root 2. The calculate will be 3 times 7, 21, plus 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12, plus 3 times 3, 9, 9 plus 14, 23 root 2. Now, 21 plus 12 is 33, is 23 root. And we can say, okay, for example, db works 33, 23. And if you check, 33 squared minus 2 times 23 squared, so 33 times 33 will be 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 18, 1, 1, 0, 8, 9. 23 times 23 is 529 and if we calculate it will be this and if you subtract it will be 1 3 you will see okay it is 31 okay now you should calculate you should keep calculating to see can we have any fundamental answer any other we call this 7 plus 3 root 2 fundamental answer we work and check until this part so let me erase this part and see. Can I find other answers? So, for 7, it works. We know it should be odd. And if we check for 9, let's see. If, let me check for, for example, mod 4. This one odd. Yes. Mod 5, if we check. If we check mod 5, uh, d squared can only be 0 plus minus 1. b squared, 0 plus minus 1. So if you check, it will be 0 plus minus 1. Minus 0 plus minus plus 2. So the only possible case to reach 1 is 1 negative 1 plus 2 or 1 minus 0. Okay, so conclude d is not multiple of 5. So these ought not multiple of 5. So let's check. You should check, for example, D7. I've checked. You should check D9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31. You should check until here, and you can reject many of them with congruence. The first one. You can calculate and you will see B will be 5. Okay, and if you check all of them, you will see none of them works. So, we have two fundamental answers. And it will be the first one, D plus B root 2, will be 3 plus 2 root 2 N times 7 plus 3 root 2, the first one, or equal to 9 plus 
5 root 2, oh, sorry, 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 the first one is for 1, 3 plus 2 root 2 to the n, this is the case that was equal to 1, times this fundamental of 9 plus 5 root 2, the, okay, the 1. So, we have these two answers, and... We we found D and B. After we found D and B, you can find C. Then after you find C, you can find A M. Let's check for example some of them. We found general four. For example, let's consider seven three. Or D nine five. Let's check this. So D is nine, D is five. So D was what? C over 4. So C is 4 times D, which will be 36. Now, C is this. So I want to find B. Or I can say 2B squared plus 31 is D squared. 2B squared. So uh, here, B is 5. So let's check A. A is what? Negative 6B plus minus 32B squared plus minus. Okay, so you can use that. Or we can say, okay, this part, we said it is C squared. So you can say this part, the square root of that is C. So you can say plus minus C all over what? All over 2. Negative 6P is negative 30 plus minus 36 over 2. Negative 30, 30, negative 36 is negative 70, negative 66 over 2. And plus 36 will be 6 over 2. It will be negative 33 and 3. Okay, so we found A as these two answers. So let's check. You know, A squared plus 6AB plus B squared. A squared plus 6AB. Plus b squared equal to 1 to 4. So let's check first one. a is 3. Let's check this one. 3 squared. 6 times 3 b is 5 plus 5 squared. So it will be 30 times 3, 90. 3 squared, 9. 25. 25 plus b is fully 115. 1 to 4. It works. And if you check for Negative 33, A is negative 33, which will be 33 squared, plus 6 times negative 33, times B, which is 5, plus B squared, which is 25. We factor from 33, it will be 33 minus 30, is 25. It will be 3, it will be 99, is 25, again, will be 1. Okay, so we proved we have infinitely many answers. And if you want to learn other ideas like Perl's equation that are important also in Olympiad and other math exams, send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.